Hi, my name's Jennifer. I'm with Cuppity Cakes, and today I'm going to show you the hardest part of making a pretty cake, which is to get your icing nice and smooth. Some of the things you have to have for my technique is a turntable, a spatula, and one that's fairly firm. The thin ones are really too flexible. You need a bench scraper. You have some that are like a dollar, some that are a little bit more, and then this one that is my favorite, which is a Fat Daddy O's that we ground down so that it would be even, and you'll see that in a minute. This one's got a little nub, and that won't work. So you need something that will lay flat on your cake turntable. Also, we sometimes use a blowtorch, so we'll play with that maybe later. We also have an all-butter icing, and I'll give you a recipe for that. It works a lot better because you can chill it, and it gets nice and hard. Um, we're going to get our crumb-coated cake and come back and start and show you what we're going to do. Okay, so now we have a crumb-coated, already chilled cake. You can tell that it's very bumpy, it's not necessarily level, and there's minimal icing on it. This is, of course, a chocolate cake, so I did that so you can see lots of the ugly underneath it. Well, this is the way we'll, we will start. Um, it needs to be cold, and again, it's an all-butter icing. We're going to start by putting more than enough icing on there don't need to worry about the crumbs getting in your fresh icing because it's all chilled up so it won't do that. I always spread my buttercream, I push it. I push it around when I'm crumb coating, I push it around when I'm putting on the final coat. So I'm not doing a whole lot of lifting, that's how you get crumbs, especially during that first initial period. So I let some of mine go over the edge and then start spreading it there. And here again, I'm not trying to make it pretty, I'm just trying to cover up a lot of that darkness that you see. It's all going to get smoothed out, it's all going to get added to later. It's a good place to start. See, this, this buttercream is a little more tan. It's a Bailey's flavored buttercream, so it's not quite as white as my normal, but it works just the same. Alright, so we pretty much have covered all the brown, so now we're going to smooth it out just a little bit. I like to keep my ice and spatula very clean because you get a lot cleaner surface to it. So we'll talk more about that. So here your big thing is to keep your spatula level. A lot of people do this and then they have a hump in the middle of the cake. So to avoid that you keep it as parallel flat as you can and that just takes some practice. If you notice your cake getting a hump it's because you're doing that instead of keeping it level. Once you've gone around that top once I'm going to take my bench scraper and I lay it flat so I get a 90 degree angle. And I press slightly on this so that you can continue to get that 90 degree angle. And you're not trying to make it. I got a ton of extra icing. I'll redeposit it there. You're not trying to make it perfect on this pass. You're just trying to fill up all that bump and where you can see its little fat rolls and all where the layers begin and start. So see, I got kind of a thin spot there. Before I chill it, I want to make sure that I got a nice even layer. It's even a little thin down there. Sometimes you take too much off, it's okay. To make a mess. So let's give it one more. Keep it flat on your board. but it's your first cup. So, try to get your knife clean. It always helps to have a clean spatula. Then I'm feathering in. 
throughout that bump, if you push it out, let me show you. If you push it out, then you have that, and then you have to go back to the sides again. It's better if you just feather it in. You're not going to be perfect this time. It's the first real coat of icing, and here you're just trying to accomplish that it's smooth and that it's mostly covered. I do much better getting, keeping it smooth and at an angle with this thing. But then once you go back and do the sides, you end up with a little lip again. So what you want to do is feather it back in. It might take you four times of doing that to get a good basic coat on there. But now you've at least got enough icing so that most of the chocolate isn't showing through and it looks a lot better than it did. So we're going to put this in the cooler and come back to it. Okay, now we have the cake out. It's been chilled. It's nice and firm. You can tap on it. It's, it's not going anywhere. It's not getting on you. So we're going to put a second coat of icing on. Basically, here we're going to just make sure we don't have any dark spots. Here again, push your icing. Push it around. Okay. Spread it on the sides. This time our goal is to make sure we don't have any dark spots showing by the time we get our coat on. It's a lot easier to do several thin coats than to just do one big gloppy giant coat. Okay. And some people might find this kind of spatula easier to use than the bench scraper. I don't. I have better control over this. Let me show you again when we do this. This one lays flat. If you get one with the little nub on it, it won't. This one is good, but it has flex to it. So if you hold it tight or it bends, you know, you might mess it up just a little bit. I used to use this one, um, and it's a five inch. And I used it for years and it was fine, but as you can see, my cakes are a little taller. So I do love it though, because it's got no handle and it's easy to clean. But then I found this big one and it gets the full height, which is much easier. But I have about a, five and a half inch cake. This is a seven inch high scraper. Now, if I'm getting spots like that, that are not filled in, I can take the icing, the excess, and kind of press harder so that, so that it fills that in with the excess icing that you're scraping off. You're not going to scrape off any of the um, chilled icing. You're just scraping off what you just put on. So, looks pretty good. We do have a little spot down here. And I see a little dark there. So, I'm just going to add that. My goal here on the second coat is not to make it totally perfect. It's to make sure everything is cover and not see through. Then we're going to put it back in the refrigerator and let it cool for another 30 minutes or you put it in the freezer for 10 if you've got the space and then we'll come back and fix some of these little lines. That would be a real easy thing to do. Um, I fight sometimes with this little lip of icing on top there. It, you know some people you feather it in it still pushes it out it's easier for me if I get this nice and level then when I take it out of the refrigerator this little lip I can take a knife and I'll show you how I'm going to do that in a minute but we'll put it away and get another one out and show you real quick again Okay, now we've got our cake chilled. We're going to 
take off this little bit of lip there. I'm going to do that with a knife. Sometimes it's easier that way. Than uh, doing it with your knife. Get that off. That back in with your buttercream because it's cold. Okay, at this point you're pretty smooth, so you can either use your fingers and rub out just a little bit of the lines because the heat of your finger is going to smooth that in. When you have an all butter icing, it really works really well. What I like to do though is again starting at the top, eat my spatula completely clean and just melt my buttercream just ever so slightly. A little bit of dirt, wipe it off. Buttercream is not dirt. Every time you go to touch it, your knife should be clean, otherwise you just kind of mess it up. And I'm going to use my bench scraper. You can do this under running water, hot running water also. I got some melted buttercream there. Keep your knife clean. So we're just going to go around, and pretty much you got most of all the little valleys and gaps out. And if you have some little ones, some little spaces, you can either add a little buttercream or get it here with your finger. So you should have a nice crisp edge here and a nice crisp edge here. Some people like to go in here and just touch this, knock that down so it's not quite so sharp of an edge. I generally leave it. But if you've got anything out there, you just use your heated knife and you can melt that right in. But I think we're pretty smooth. We'll clean up the cake board. Wipe it down and we're done. Here's a last look at the cake. You could put on another coat if you wanted to. You could leave it just like this. It's in pretty good shape. If you want to love on it a little bit more, you don't have to keep heating your spatula up. Just keep it clean and keep it wiped off and keep your lines straight. And then if, if you need to, use your fingers to rub any little spot out. But that's how we smooth buttercream. Thanks so much for watching. I hope it helps you.